Hello and welcome guys. Um, maybe you want to create some automation. Uh, you wanted to maybe create a scraper for great ideas and, and how to get more out of social media, which, you know, um, review, for example, your Twitter feeds, specific YouTube videos. Maybe you want to explore and build some, you know, table for great ideas. And, and basically we wanted to showcase the power of make.com automation, the power of tools within make.com and how you can build a powerful scrapers for any of the social media platforms from, you know, TikTok, from YouTube, from Twitter, X, you know, we can set up a specific scrapes around the people you want to follow, a, a specific keywords maybe you want to explore. So there are some great phenomenal tools that you can use for that. And I've just built a, a little automation. I just wanted to showcase how guys the power of that automation and how you can use that for for your own essentially benefit. So make.com is, is a tool that you're going to need in that automation. So we're going to use uh, three powerful tools, make.com, um, Appify and Airtable. So first of all, make.com is essentially it's a, it's a no code automation platform that allows you to connect various tools in an in, and run an automation um around it so you can sign up to make the comp for free and you can run up to two automations uh, and up to 1000 operations for free so you can start this by doing for free the other tool we're going to use is an air table which is essentially it's a database that allows you to store all of the uh, scraping um output and then you can also from there you can create a view various other automations so what you could potentially do is from that you know scrape and output you can use the video urls for example to use transcription services or maybe even summarize the specific videos you want uh, and any other ones i'll just show you a few uh, one example and then it's up to you guys where you want to take it further uh and then obviously we have a tool called appify which allows to run the scrapes itself so as you can see, for example, I've got just one actor in here, but what you can do is you can explore various other actors and see what um, what other um, tasks you can build in here. So for example, you can go here and explore the, the Appify store and see what other tasks or scrapers are available from Google Maps to website crawlers. You can do Instagram scraping, TikTok scraping. You can even do the uh, Twitter, X, Reddit scraping, you can do LinkedIn job scraper. So for example, you can set up specific keywords or specific jobs that you are looking for. And instead of going to LinkedIn for search, you can do an automated, say for example, daily scrape that will provide all of the information for you in your Airtable database. So let me just explore a bit and how we're gonna do it. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to set up an Airtable table that allows you to store the information. So what we've done, we created a table in here. So it's very simple. You just go to um, YouTube, create a, uh, sorry, Airtable, go create a new base, which obviously we named it here, YouTube scraper. That's the table and that's the grid sort of view. And then you can set up various columns. So as you can see, for example, I can edit the fields, I can delete the fields and you can add new fields. So we, for example, added a field in here, which is just a, as you can see, a te single text field, YouTube video. We got another field here, which is a URL where we put um, YouTube video URLs. We uh, we put a uh, created time and date of the video, likes, uh, which is again, it's a number of fields of likes and views, a channel name, channel URL, uh, a number of subscribers. In here, we put also, we put a number, uh, a video duration, and also what we need to do in order to watch the records. And if you want to, for example, create a further automation, so you created a, a, a creation, uh, essentially, um, table when this record has been created. So as you can see, all of this has been scraped today and been created today. So that's the table we created to store all of our records after the scrape. And then what we need to do is, we need to set up a scrapes. So the way we can do it is if we go into actors, so we can see you can find the YouTube scraper and then how you set up the scraper is very simple. So also, also first of all, you obviously you need to set up an account which you get $5 of free, re of free usage. As you can see, I've used so far 60 cents. So I think is each of the, of the scrapes 
I think is like half a cent or one cent. So obviously you can set up how many videos you want to scrape. So per term. So for example, we can say 10 videos per each um, term. And then you put your term. So I put make.com, AI tools, deep learning and AI automation. So that's the four terms I'm going to track. And then what you need to do is you need to go to um, scenarios and create a scenario. So let me show you, first of all, the scenario I've got in here. So we got YouTube scraper by keyword. So we got we got a couple of um, Appify runs in here. So we have, first of all, we set it up, watch task runs. And then we get a data set and then we export that data set here. So let me showcase, first of all. So what you need to do is when you add a task you need to create a connection and watch the task so when you create a, a task in here you can obviously you're going to name the task and once you name the task that task can be found in here in that connection then what you need to do is you get a data set which obviously you can find in here so if you scroll all the way down you can see the default data set id that's what you need for this um, gate data set items. And then that's all you need to do is everything else stays as it is. You just need get data for data set ID from the first task run. And then in here, what we do is we create a connection to our YouTube scraper base. We've got a table is called as well YouTube scraper. And then once we you run it once, you need to populate all the fields. So we get YouTube video, we got URL, we got the date, we got the likes, view count, um, channel name, channel URL, number of subscribers, and video duration. So that's pretty much how it works. So let me do one from scratch so you guys know how it's been built and, and how to use it. And then hopefully you guys can do it one on your own. Um, and you can use basically that in your operations. So let's set one up. So let's create a new scenario. So let me guys show you how to set it all up. So first of all, the key point which you need to do is, so once you set up on here, you can do as many terms as you want. So we're going to do four terms in this instance, and we're going to set up five videos per term. So we should get 20 results back. The key point in here, we need to create a task and we need to name the task. So, so let's say it's YouTube MP scraper and that's the task. So we just need to rename this as new task. So that's our saved tasks. So as you can see, we got the previous task that I used before, and then we got a new task. So what we need to do is we need to set up here, watch task runs. We need to create a connection. So we got the MP1, that's the new task. Okay, that's set up. Then we need to create another connection, which is get data set items. And then we need a default data set ID. And that's all you need to do for these two tasks. Now, what we're going to do is obviously we can move this to make it easier. So as I said, you can guys set up this air table. I'm not going to show you, you know, going to do step by step. It's very easy. As, as I said, just make sure you copy the correct um, data fields, but I'll show you how you get these data fields anyway. So what we do is we're going to connect here as well as to air table, and then we're going to create a record. So what you need to do is again, you need to do a connection. So we need to do to the Airtable to YouTube. We need to find the correct base, which is a YouTube scraper. And then what we need to do is get a correct table. And then one of the most important points is we will need to populate all of the fields. But currently, 
as you can see guys we don't have any data for this so what we need to do is we need to create a first run so what we're going to do is we're going to create a run so we're going to do run now and then we're going to manually start this task so we're going to run this task And as you can see, guys, it says we're sending 24 requests. We got 19, 20 results. So as expected, we should get five results per four terms. So it's in, 20, in, in total, it's 20 results. And as you can see here, we got one response, one response, and then we got 20 records. So now we don't need this. And delete that so now what we can do is we can actually map so as you can see guys we can go here and then find youtube video name so this is basically going to be a title we can take a url we can take a date it's been created we can gather the things like likes we can gather things like number of views which is view count we can get channel name we can get channel url we can get number of subscribers and also video duration and that's pretty much it so all you need to do is now again you can run the same scenario again and then you will get all of this into your table. And then as you can see, I all, what I did is I sorted it by views. And then as you can say, you can do various things. So for example, as I showed you guys in here, you, you can create a various different tasks. You can browse different actors. And then for example, then you can use, so I just kind of briefly showed you guys, but you can use a YouTube comment scraper, you can do YouTube short scraper, uh, you know, various kinds of stuff. Uh, you can take YouTube URL videos and then potentially do a transcription, do summarization. You can do various other things with these scenarios. But I think this is just a great, cool scenario. So if you want to see what type of videos are there, um, you know, it can scrape and understand which videos are the most popular. Um, which has the most amount of views and obviously then you can see what um, type of names they're using how we, how they're standing out from the crowd and then potentially you can jump on a bad bag and then create similar YouTube sort of um, videos to use for your own um, media generation but hopefully you guys you find this useful hopefully you guys can explore and and play around with different scrapers and appify and build your own automations but this is just a very simple way to start uh you know visualizing start using your uh, make.com automation and, and hopefully you find it useful guys if you want to find out more information you want to build some various different other automations you know get in touch with me um and hopefully you can build some more